Saturday, January 23rd, 2016. It's uh, kind of cool today. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's about, oh, I'm going to say it's minus 13C. Yeah, about 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyway, nice sunny day. You can see it. Got solar panels out there. Anyway, today we're going to do a small pot roast. This is a really cheap cut. Good for the... Uh, Good for doing solar cooking. Anyway, uh, we're going to use the all-season solar cooker today, which is the uh, the smaller of the two, and it requires a glass container, uh, an anchor hocking bowl, pie plate, and a speckleware pan. I'll show you the cooker. Stand by. This is the all-season solar cooker, which is basically made out of coroplast, which is corrugated plastic, and this is available from Jim LaJoy online. And uh, it's going to be in the winch position today, which is the way you see it. And that anchor hawking bowl sits in here, pipe laid over top, and it's set out in the sun. So it's going to be, it's almost 10 o'clock, so I figure we'll put it out there about 10.30. Uh, and we'll leave it until the sun is pretty well gone, which this time of year is going to be about 4 o'clock. Might squeeze 4.30 out of it, but I'm going to say 4 o'clock. So let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, roast is in the pan. It's about 1.2 kilo, we'll say two and a half pounds. Two medium large potatoes, two large carrots, some seasonings, Chinese five spice, salt, pepper, no moisture because the thing will create its own. And I'm gonna go set up the oven now. It's pretty early in the morning still. It's not even 10.30 and uh, making over 1100 watts. I'm 52 at the moment. And uh, not sure, let's see. There I go. Okay, the all season solar cooker is a little different than most because it doesn't have any glass. It strictly runs on uh, retaining the heat in a separate container. Um, it's also a little fussier because the reflective surfaces aren't as shiny as the uh, Mylar ones. And you could put Mylar on this, but this is just the aluminum duct tape, which seems to work not too badly. And this has the unique feature of this little critter up here, which is just a block of wood. If you watch it here, I'll show you the, see the little shadow forming on the uh, on the side of the post. And you just adjust this till there's no shadow, and that's the optimum place in the sun. So I'll come out here frequently to adjust this. I may not uh, record it every time, but you at least get the principle. So that keeps the maximum amount of sun in the oven at all times. Uh, the anchor hocking bowl will sit in here. The roast will sit in there, and then the glass uh, pie plate sits on top. And that keeps all the heat in, and just make sure that it acts like a little bit. So, anyway, stand by. We'll uh, we'll bring the roast out shortly. Alrighty, so there we are. It's just about 10:30, and uh, so there it is. The bowl inside is the speckleware container with the with the meat, and the plate on top, the pie plate to uh, contain the heat in the oven. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So we're kind of sitting pretty well at optimum. Like I said, it's very early in the morning, but I mean for this time of year. Clear sky, good sun. Solar panels are adjusting themselves. Uh, these track as well. They have a tracking mechanism on them. Uh, that one's in a cheese whiz jar at the top. That one over there, if you look closely at the bottom, is a uh, Strubs pickle jar. Anyway, um, so the whole thing runs off a separate battery, which is this guy right here. You can hear it, there it is, searching for the sun. And a battery charger, uh, which runs off that solar panel by itself, charges up the battery, which runs the mechanism for this thing. And similar situation occurs on that one up there. So between the two of them, I have a combined of uh, 1,500 watts of solar power. And uh, as I showed you earlier, it was already making uh, over 1,100. And uh, we aren't even in full sun yet. So. We keep an eye on that as well, and uh, it's a good day for solar everything. Stay tuned. Alrighty, we're about a half an hour or so in. Just had to move the oven because the uh, little shadow was on this side of the stick. So, as you can see, there's already moisture forming. Uh, that roast was uh, actually partially frozen as well, so it's going to take the full five hours or whatever in here to cook this. To say, I just got to make sure I don't get shadows coming across it because it's uh, really important to keep everything clear. Anyway, solar panels, you can see this one here, badly placed, my fault. That one there is actually casting a shadow on this one, 
for a portion of the day. Uh, of course in the summer that won't happen because they'll be tipped down. The sun will be much higher. Uh, but I probably will have to move this one. I was thinking maybe moving it way back there where uh, that won't be a problem. And it should catch still most of the sun even in the winter. So anyway, onward and upward. Stay tuned. Two and a half hours in, or just after one. And uh, the problem is, is that you see the shadows on the ground. That's from the solar panels. Um, I did have it, as you can see, the drag marks in the snow was over there. Um, it was probably in the in the shadow for likely about a half an hour. So that's a bit of a setback. But you can see this time of year, it's really difficult because of the buildings cast shadows pretty long, and uh, there isn't a lot of space here. I may have to go into the deep snow over there where it's not going to be a problem, but then the trees become a problem. So uh, I'm just going to keep moving it around until we uh, run out of sun and then move it somewhere else. I could move it back there, but then this building is going to become a problem later in the day, although not until much later. I think I may do that right now. Stay tuned. Alrighty, dragged it back into the the clearest area here, but I still, I don't know if I'm going to catch a lot more sun before it hits the trees. I will keep an eye on it. Uh, if need be, the worst case is I may have to put it in the inside oven for an extra hour just to finish it, but at least most of the cooking will be done here. Uh, hopefully it'll work out. Anyway, stay tuned. Well, this half of the solar is doing very well. Solar oven may be having some issues because of the shade, but we were making uh, about what 1491 watts right now. We've already uh, collected four kilowatts in the battery bank. And let's have a look at. We hit a high of yep, 1519 watts, or 1500 watts of solar panels have hit it. 1519 watts at one point. So we're probably going to make, if the sun stays out, and if the battery banks will hold it, I'll probably make five kilowatts today. So. We'll keep an eye on this as well. So, so far so good on this one. Alright, we still have some issues with shadow here. I'm going to have to drag it a little further on. Uh, it's only about, I think it's about quarter to two. Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, it's still still cooking. We still have a little time left. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. The challenges of solar cooking in the middle of winter. Stay tuned. Well, it's quarter to five and the... Uh, well, the roast didn't turn out as well. I mean, it was almost cooked, but uh, about 2.30 I ran out of places in the sun to put the cooker, so I had to put it back in the oven. It's now done. Eh, trials and tribulations of cooking in the winter. However, it's been a stellar solar day here. Uh, we're down to 14 watts now. It's a uh, quarter to five. But, as you can see, we've made five kilowatts today, which is uh, January the 23rd is not too bad. Uh, just do a quick, let's have a look at our peak. Yep, 1519 was the high, so even so, not bad. For a short day in the winter, um, that's pretty good. 5 kilowatts, I'm happy with that. Lots of uh, power stored up. I'm supposed to get a bit more sun tomorrow, so all things considered, it was a good solar day. Thanks for watching.